I am uh, Lars Alfheim and I'm the vice governor at Svalbard. When people come here, they get more respect, uh, and I hope they do, uh, for treating uh, uh, nature uh, in a better way. They need to uh, be aware that the way that they use their energy at home, it affects us up here. The mountains here uh, are sedimentary rocks, and uh, actually at the top there you see a... Small glaciers like this one, they are responding to changes in air temperature very fast. Who else wants to look? They are very good indicators of changes in climate. If the world cleans up its cook stoves, that has a big impact on slowing down climate change because it's less particulate matter on the ice and less absorption of energy coming in from the atmosphere. My name is Kerry Fowler and I'm the Executive Director of the Global Crop Diversity Trust. You visited the Svalbard Global Seed Vault uh, and this is a facility that's built in the middle of a mountain, a uh, place where we can store seeds of all the different crop varieties uh, in the world. We're storing about 660,000 different crop varieties in the form of seed right now. It's the most precious natural resource on earth. It's the biological foundation of agriculture and the reason that we're conserving it there is to avoid any kind of catastrophe hitting in other parts of the world where we might lose some of this diversity um, irretrievably. We're going to need this diversity to be able to fashion new varieties of crops for the future, particularly for climate change adaptation. So this is the natural resource that we can't do without on Earth. This is a fantastic, look at this. Mm. You could look at each one of these, you know, and sort of think about what's happened in each place.